What is up, y'all? This is Hussein Nasser from iGeometry, bringing you another episode of a JavaScript API. All right, so in the previous episode, we authored code to get to query the layer and retrieve how many features are in this layer. So, like when you click, we get like, oh, this layer has 50 or 60. Click, and then I have 74. So in this episode, uh, we, we found in the previous episode we found some bugs as well right And this this is not a valid layer to query so we're gonna get an error when we count right we, we this request fails altogether and sometimes you return undefined so we need to fix that so in this episode I'm gonna uh, I'll uh, uh, will author code to auto populate the count for each layer so this is a bit expensive code if you think about it, because it will request the count for each layer upon loading that service. So we need to think about that, but uh, this is what we're just doing, playing here, so why not? But just keep in mind right, that this will become a bit expensive. It's really quick, but as you have more and more layers, uh, it will become expensive. So, so let's do that. So what we want to do is when we open that, I want to list directly show me all the layers and if it's um, for each layer give the count and populate it here show me the actual count of features for each layer let's get to work so service service get count so this function it gets an ID right and that ID of that layer we query that layer and then we get the response and we just alert it that's what we're doing we need to, we want to do more than that okay so we want to first of all when I click I don't want to alert I want to make the I want to replace the text of this by the count does that make sense so I want when I call this function for that layer, I want to take that count and change the text content instead of the word count, I'll put the actual count. Let's get to work. So obviously I'll need to pass in an element here, right? We'll need to pass in the element. And once we pass in the element, my Mac is starting to heat up. I don't know. All right. So once we pass in the element, what we're going to do is we'll take that element and instead of alert, we'll literally, literally say el, the text content is equal to this. Let's just start with that. All right. Since we're starting to pass this function to an extra parameter we have to adjust our function which is remember this populate layer recursive as we start building these buttons right well we, yeah in this case it's button uh, I want to pass in when I click get count takes an ID and guess what it takes the actual button itself that's good Let's refresh. Looking sharp. All right. Count. Woo! Look at that. Woo! Beautiful. This is pretty. This is pretty. See, these are failing, right? These request fails. <laughs> so some of them are cool. Uh, succeed some of them fails and nothing happens so we want to take care of this if something fails I think it shows here should show if something fails or not I don't think it does yeah we have to install Fiddler for that to show yep I think we have to install Fiddler all right so if something fails I want to hide that button how about that let's do that Okay, so we did not discuss this before, but where's the get count? There you go. Request is actually a promise, right? 
We always assume promises succeed, but that's not the case because some promises fail, like as you can see, right? And we always take the first parameter of the then, which is always when a case is if, if it's like a it's a happy path where everything works, right? But life is not always about happy paths, right? Paths. So I want to take another parameter, which is yes here comma that's the beginning of the function the first function the second function will be response that's when the response actually fails and what we want to do is basically hide that element and if i remember correctly it's to hide the element, you do al that style of visibility equal hidden. I think that's how it. Or style or display equal none. I don't know if this will work or not. But sounds good. Arrow functions for the win. Let's see. Ooh, what did we do? Town works, works, fails, hides, fails, hides. So this didn't actually fail, it succeeds, so I'm gonna leave it there. Nice, nice. It hides, how about that? So, last step, what I wanna do, like looking good, looking sharp, what I wanna do here is, I don't wanna do this event anymore. I don't wanna do this event anymore. I don't want, <laughs> what was that? I don't want to click and just get that. I want just, when you load that thing, just might as well get the count. How about that? So, hide that and just call git count, please. Give me that layer. Call it. Don't, don't register any events. I don't care. Just call it and give it the button. So, what do you think will happen now? What do you think will happen, guys? Da -da -da -da. Beautiful. 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 C'est très bien. Jamil on Jidden. Bon appetit. I, I don't know how to say it in Spanish. <laughs> how do you say it in Spanish? Very beautiful. Senorita? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know Spanish. Okay. That's in Persian. Uh, I don't know. That's. Oh, I don't know Japanese. I desne. And that's it. That's pretty much that's that's the episode right there. We end it, guys. So just very short, very light, very snacky. I don't know if that's a word, but yeah, very light, very light episode today. Just giving doing something, laying the foundation for the next episode. All right, all right, guys. Take it easy. Subscribe, like this video. It means a lot. Share this video with your friends, and I'm going to see you on the next one. Good boy. British Hussein, signing out.